Well, four listening sessions have been announced to help solicit input on a potential federal lamb insurance program. Watts & Associates has been contracted by the USDA's Risk Management Agency to help evaluate the feasibility of offering subsidized production insurance for U.S. lamb producers. Now, three in-person listening sessions are planned, including December 7th in Belfouche, South Dakota, December 9th in San Angelo, Texas, and during the upcoming ASI convention headed for Denver in January, as the group has been invited to participate in the LAM Council meeting. A virtual session, they say, might also be conducted, but details for such a session have yet to be determined. For more information, you can jump online and visit us at westernagnetwork.com. And finally today, on Friday, the USDA released its latest cattle on feed report. And here's USDA livestock analyst Shale Shagum with some of the key numbers. The number of cattle placed on feed during October was just under 2.2 million head, which was about 4% above a year ago. Feedlots marketed just under 1.8 million head during October, which was 3% below a year ago. But there was an extra slaughter day during October, so if you adjust that extra day, we were actually 7% up below a year ago. Uh, the number of cattle on feed on November 1st was about 11.9 million head, which was 2% above a year ago. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day. The preceding news segment was produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network.